Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Welcome to August Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge. Let's start by creating the outer circle of this model, which is 108. Hitting C, which is the shortcut for a circle. Now we are prompted to select a plane or planar face. Let's sketch on our XZ plane. Left click here. Let's drop our center point here at the origin. I'm going to key in 108. Hitting enter. And enter once more. Next, let's create the pitch diameter circle. So hitting C. Dropping our center point at the origin. The diameter for this one is 88. Let's rearrange our dimensions. Left click and hold. Positioning this one here. Same with 88. And since this is a pitch circle, let's turn this into a construction entity. So I'm going to hit X. Let's now create the inner circle. Hitting C once more. Left click here. Key in 50. Moving our dimension here. Let's add a circle here as well to be patterned. So hitting C, let's drop this at the intersection. Diameter to be 6.66. Let's align the center point of our circle with our origin vertically. So I'm heading to constraints, selecting vertical, selecting our origin and our center point. Hitting escape. From here, we can now hit E for extrude, selecting this profile together with this circle. Let's head to home view, pulling our arrow up, giving this a thickness, and key in 11.5. Operation new body and hitting OK. Let's now extrude our hole as a cut operation. So let's head to our sketches and turn on the visibility of sketch 1. So there it is, our circular profile. So let's now hit E for extrude. Select this profile, pull our arrow up. I want my cut extrusion to be adaptive. So I'm going to change my extent to object. Left click this arrow and left click this face. And finally, hitting OK. Let's now turn off the visibility of our sketch. Hit S to grab our model shortcuts. I'm going to type P-A-T-T and select Circular Pattern. The pattern type to be Features and that feature will be our Extrude 2. The axis, selecting our Y axis for the required quantity, it will be 8. Compute option, adjust, and hit OK. Moving forward, this feature will be swept, so let's create its path. Let's start by creating a line and entering sketch mode, so hitting L. Selecting our XY plane, let's drop the first point of our line here, moving here, double left click, hitting escape. Let's now grab our arc, hitting S for sketch shortcuts, typing ARC, selecting three point arc. Let's drop our first point here at the origin next to the end point of our line moving here left click hitting escape let's align our origin with our end point horizontally 
Selecting horizontal vertical, selecting our origin and the endpoint of our line. Next, I want the center point of our arc coincident with the endpoint of our line. So let's select our center point, left click, holding control, selecting our endpoint, left click, right click, and select coincident. Next, the angle between our line and this plane to be 45. So hitting D, selecting our line and this edge. Left click here, key in 45. With our dimension tool still active, selecting this arc and key in 108. Hitting enter, hitting escape and Let's turn this line into a construction line by hitting X. Another method of turning this into a construction line is heading to our sketch palette. Sweep path done. Let's now hit stop sketch. Let's have a different approach. I'm going to change my workspace to patch. Head up to create and select sweep. The profile to be this circle. So let's turn on the visibility of sketch one, selecting this circle, activating path, left click, and selecting our arc. We now have a surface, hitting OK, which is located here. Let's turn off the visibility of sketch one. From here, let's grab our patch shortcuts by hitting S, typing TH, and selecting Thicken. The faces to be our surface, and the thickness to be 11.5. Operation, new body, hitting OK. And instead of creating another sketch and extruding a body, I'm going to select our first body. Hit Control C and Control V. Let's move this one here, grabbing our planar handle, hitting OK, grabbing our shortcuts, hitting S and typing AL, selecting a line. The object to be buddies. I'm going to hover over this face, hold Control, and select this snap point, left click. Moving over to our swept body, hovering over this face, holding control, and selecting this snap point. Left click. Our model looking nice, hitting OK. From here, we can now combine our bodies, grabbing our shortcuts, hitting S, typing C, O, M. So it's not located here. We need to change our workspace back to model. Repeating the procedure, typing CO, selecting combine. Our target body to be our first body. The tool body to be our swept body. And the operation, changing this to cut. And let's keep our tools. Hitting OK. So this is the remaining body. So let's turn its visibility off. Repeating the procedure, right click, selecting repeat combine, selecting our target body, left click, our tool body to be our swept body. Operation cut and let's keep tools enabled. Hitting OK. And let's turn off the visibility of our remaining body. And from here, we can now re grab our combine tool, selecting our target body to be our swept one, the tool bodies to be this body. And this body, changing the operation to join. 
and disabling keep tools and finally hitting OK. That is how I made the August monthly challenge. Curious to know how you modeled this? Leave a comment below. And thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge. This video is brought to you by MSI Workstations. If you are serious about 3D modeling, simulations, and rendering, then MSI Workstations is the beast. Increase your workflow efficiency with MSI Workstations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.